Okay, this video is going to be about the nano text editor. We've already used it once to create a file, and we were able to save and exit. I'm going to show you some of them, uh, some other shortcuts and, and um, some other ways to use the nano uh, text editor. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, use the nano command and then specify a file name. So this is going to be uh, a test file, and we're going to make it a .py extension because that's the extension for Python files. So we're going to make a little Python file here. Um, so .py, uh, and we see nano opens up, and here is uh, the main stage. That's where you actually type your text, and we have these shortcuts down here. Uh, as I move my arrow keys, you'll see a status line show up here too, right? And, and there's my little cursor, and as I go down, it tells me what line I'm on. I'm on the second line out of four, right? And also, as I type information, it'll tell me which column I'm in. So let's start, and we'll, we'll type... Uh, you know, print hello world right. so this is the classic first uh, program people write and so uh, I saved the file with control s or control o either one of those works control s is the common way to save in most graphical apps uh, applications okay so control s and then uh, down here that little caret means use the control key and press x to exit so control X. So we know how to save and exit. So nano. Uh, we can run the program real quick with Python 3 is the command. And then test.py. And it prints out hello world. So <clears throat> the print command in Python is kind of like echo on the command line. Alright, so uh, we can we can open this back up and look at uh, oops, test.python. And notice that the, uh, the colorization changed a little bit. Um, as we add more, more Python code, uh, we see more colorizations. Um, and that is helpful for our coding, because it's going to help us understand what's going on. Uh, so it highlights certain keywords. For is a keyword used in Python. In is a keyword. All right. Uh, anything inside of quotes is considered a string, which is a data type. It's special characters. Okay. So that's what uh, these colorizations are doing. Uh, and that all comes because I added the .py extension to my file name. So if I save this and exit, right? Uh, there's test.py. I can change the name of my file with the move command. There's no, there's no rename command. Move takes a source file. So what are you trying to move? And then where would you like to move it? Well, I'd like to move it to something else. I'm going to call it test.txt. Uh, test okay, so I'm, I'm basically changing the extension uh, of, of the file. So this is how you rename files. You just move them and specify a different name as the second argument. So ls-l and there's test.txt. Now when I open this with nano, the colorization is gone because now it doesn't know that it's a Python file. So it was that .py that was telling nano that that, um, that, that was a, a Python file. So extensions can be read by other programs. It doesn't always mean they're accurate. So just because it has a .py file doesn't mean it's actually a Python file. But it's meant to be useful for people or programs that look at the file and try to know what that thing is without having to open it. All right, so that's, we know, save and quit. We know a little bit about the, the colorization. Um, the help menu, we can look at some of these. Uh, control G, right? That pulls up the help menu, and we can use our arrow keys and get more help on this uh, nano program, right? Uh, to close this, we can hit Control X, and we're back to our editing our file. Um, <clears throat> so in Python, uh, you can copy, and, or I'm sorry, in Nano, you can um, copy a line. You can actually can't copy; you can cut a line. Control K, but once it's cut, it's on the clipboard, and you can paste it with Control U, which is uncut. So I'm going to hit Control K, and we see that disappeared. But then I'm going to hit Control U, and it uncuts. And I can keep pressing Control U, and it keeps pasting. Right? So I can also uh, cut multiple lines instead of just one. So to show that this is multiple lines, I'm going to make this uh, each line slightly different. And what I'm going to try to do is cut all eight of these, and then paste all eight. Right? So Control K, K. Wait. Let's see. Uh, we 
we have to start at the top. There we go. So here, we'll do this. All right, I press Control K seven times, and now Control U will uncut all that. And I can press Control U again, and it does seven. All right. So Control K uh, will cu uh, cut lines of your file to the clipboard, basically, and then you can uncut them. So that's how you copy and paste in Nano. And then, as soon as you uh, you know cut something else, it will uh, whatever's on your clipboard will be removed, and then that new thing will be added. All right, so back to where we were. Print I. All right, Control S saves. That's fine. Uh, what else do we need to know? Um, we need to know how to undo and redo. Right. So if I want to undo something, I can press Alt U, and that basically undoes the last couple things I did. All right, I can keep pressing it. If I want to redo something, Alt E redoes something. Okay, so it redoes those two things. Um, <clears throat> the indentation, uh, when you press enter, uh, you can have it automatically indent. Okay, I don't like to do that by default because when you paste in data, it, uh, it acts funny. All right. But you can turn in auto indentation with Alt I. If for some reason it's on by default, you can turn it off with the same uh, configuration. So I just pressed it and it says auto indent enabled. So what this does basically is we have code indented here. This is indentation. And when I press enter, it automatically indents to the right spot. Right? If I had another if statement, uh, <clears throat> I would want to indent here. And so I could print something else out here. Um, and now when I press enter, it's going to indent here instead of here or there. Right? That's what auto indent does. The problem is if, <clears throat> for example, if I uh, copy all this code and let's say, <coughs> excuse me, I, I want to uh, paste it under here. If I go to paste, it, <clears throat> it messes up the indentation. It gets a little funky. So uh, I don't like to use it. So I'm going to turn that off. And that is Alt I. Uh, and then the last thing you can do, or a couple more things, line numbers. If I hold <clears throat> Shift Alt uh, and then the number three, you can see what line number you're on in your file, and then you can turn that off. One downside with this is if you try to highlight some stuff to copy and paste, it automatically includes the terminal number too, like in the terminal. So you, if you don't want that line number, uh, you may make sure you turn that off, which uh, to turn it on and off again is uh, Shift-Alt-3. Right. But then the line number also shows up when you use the arrow keys, so you can see it that way as well. And then Control-C uh, shows the cursor position. Right. So it makes this, this status come up. It also That also comes up when you move the arrow keys. All right, so those are the basic uh, text editor, you know, uh, text editor tools you have in your tool belt. We can uh, remove that. We can save this, and Control X will exit. All right, so ls l test.txt. We're gonna rename it back to a Python file. Test.txt to test.py. List. We can run it with Python 3, test.py, with a little for loop. And we can look at it again and see our colorization is back. All right, so that's good. And then Control X. All right, so that's the Nano Text Editor.